Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today's video is going to be talking about connecting FileMaker to Slack by using Claris Connect. This would have been possible to do before, but it would have been pretty difficult, and now we can do it in just a couple of minutes with this amazing new Claris Connect tool. So how do we do that? What do we need? We need a FileMaker database hosted either on FileMaker server or FileMaker cloud, and full access to that database so that we can set up a few security issues. A copy of Slack, or a Slack account, which is free and FileMaker, uh, sorry, Claris Connect, which is free for 14 days and then has a monthly fee after that. So what do we do? First of all, um, we go to our server config and we make sure that we have the data API turned on. In our FileMaker database, we have to have an account set up for the Claris Connect user, which has privileges set up just for the data API. I recommend you really lock that down. Then we're gonna go into uh, Claris Connect. So we're gonna go into Chrome, and I log into Claris Connect with a FileMaker ID, which is also free to get. And we've already got a flow started. And uh, we also have connected apps. So when you connect an app, you get a, a setting that looks like this, where you type in the domain name of your server, the username of that account that we just talked about a minute ago, and the password and the name of the database. I've already done that for both FileMaker and um, Slack. And then you can also just test them with just a click here, which is great. And in both of those cases, all you have to do is put in a username and a password. Um, OK, once we've got that going, we go into Flow. And we've got a Flow started here, which starts with a script trigger. So normally, you kind of come with a, a basic action. And the script trigger, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I get to this screen here. And what I want it to do is when I click a button in FileMaker, like run a script in FileMaker, I want that to post to Slack. So it gives me this screen with these seven steps, but this really boils down to a script in FileMaker with two lines of code. And here's what that is. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. I'm going to go into FileMaker. And I can see that this long screen here, what it really comes down to is this simple script. I'm going to go into my script right now. And I've got my script here called Claris Connect Test. And one line of code is, um, the JSON string, which is talked about in that instruction set. And really all it has to do is set an action, and then I'm also going to use data from a field, which is the actual thing that's going to get posted to Slack. Then the other part that you have to configure is really just copy and pasting. And I'm going to just paste that URL that was given to me from FileMaker. And that changes every single time you set up a new um, flow. Oh, you got to put that in quotes. That's it. That's my two lines of code on my script right there. So uh, the next thing I do want to do is go back to um, Claris Connect and say, now that I've got that done, the very first time you do it, by the way, it'll ask you to test that. And all you have to do is, is click in your, in your script. You just have to call that script that you just wrote, which is this button here. Um, that will, um, if I do that right now, it'll say OK. So it'll give me a little response that says OK. But right now, it's still not posting to Slack because I haven't configured that yet. How do we do that? We go in here and we say new action. I'm going to connect it to Slack. By the way, there's a whole bunch of other apps we can see down here. But what I'm going to do for this video is just connect it to Slack. The default is post message, which is what I'm going to do. Click Continue. Use the Slack account I already configured. Click Continue. And this will then ask me to select the channel that I want to use in my Slack. I already set up a channel called Claris Connect. And the body, this is where it gets really cool. If I click on the little plus over here to the right, this is going to read the information that it knows my script can do in FileMaker, one of which is the data. So if I just click once on data, that will take the data that I type into my FileMaker field and post it directly to the channel. Uh, that's it. I don't really have to do anything else here. I just click Save. And now I have my two lines of code in my flow in Claris Connect. Click this little box to on. That turns it on. Um, and then if I go to my Slack channel, which is here, I'm going to go to FileMaker and click This is a Test. Push my button for Post to Slack. And I should actually see right away, there it is, Claris Connect just posted to Slack, just like that. And it took just a couple of minutes. Thanks for your time.